Yes, that's art. And the genius behind it, Nam Jun Pek. A visionary artist whose innovative use of technology revolutionized the art world. Someone whose work continues to inspire and captivate audiences worldwide. He created art from technology, transforming the ordinary into the extraordinary, the simple into complex. Television was transformed from a passive medium to an interactive art form by Peck. Born in Seoul, South Korea in 1932 to a wealthy manufacturing family, Nam Joon Peck received classical piano training in his youth. Later, in 1950, his family moved to Japan, where he studied at the University of Tokyo, where he later graduated with a degree in aesthetics. His time in Japan proved to be a significant influence on the next stage of his life as an artist. Peck frequented the Great Buddha statue located near his westernized home, which already featured superior technologies such as a large Sony TV. It was after graduating that Peck moved to West Germany to explore music and electronics. Peck met artists John Cage and Joseph Boyce while living in Germany, something that really impacted his life. Thanks to Cage's ideas, Peck began incorporating items, theatrical interruptions, and pre-recorded sounds into his pieces, which he called action music. Peck's action music included performances that could be described as disturbing. Examples are Etude for Piano Forte from 1960, where he executed actions like jumping off stage, cutting Cage's tie, and pouring shampoo on his head. And One for Violin from 1962, where he slowly raised and then smashed a violin on a table. His efforts attracted the attention of notable figures like George Machunas, who invited Peck to join the Fluxus movement. Fluxus began in the early 1960s with artists, composers, designers, and poets from around the world recognized for their emphasis on using different artistic mediums. The Fluxus movement encouraged an open and energetic way of making art creating many unusual artworks. They used everyday objects and actions to question traditional ideas about art and to involve viewers in interactive experiences. Even though Peck's art is linked to the Fluxus movement, he is also part of the video art movement that emerged in the early 1960s. Peck played a key role in the development of video art by creatively using video technology. It was when Peck briefly returned to Tokyo and brought with him a Sony Porta Pack to New York, where more things started to change. In 1965, the concept of video art took shape when Peck declared his video footage of the Pope's visit to be a serious artwork, marking a revolutionary new perspective on art. Video art is viewed as a genre rather than a movement, and it is valued similarly to other artistic mediums. It can manifest in many ways, including installations, artworks utilizing projectors or TVs, recordings of performance art, and pieces distributed through digital files, tapes, or DVDs. Peck was shifting his focus from music to image. He popularized the idea of using television as a viable tool of artistic expression. One of his earliest surviving tapes is Button Happening from 1965 a 90-second recording that captures a single performance in the playful, conceptual style of Fluxus. Peck repeatedly buttons and unbuttons his jacket. It can be said that Nam Joon Peck's art shares some characteristics with the data, new data and pop art movements. Just as pop art incorporated images and ideas from popular culture, Peck also used these elements in his work. Additionally, Peck's use of technology and multimedia is reminiscent of the way neo-data artists use everyday objects in their art. Moreover, some of Peck's works, characterized by their humor and absurdity, reflect the spirit of the data movement. Peck began with basic video experiments and later progressed to elaborate installations. He was eager to explore new technologies as they emerged.
One of Peck's well-known works is TV Garden from 1974, an installation featuring about 40 televisions of different sizes placed among real tropical plants and bushes. The installation incorporates a dynamic aspect with televisions reproducing the video Global Groove, a collab video art piece with John J. Godfrey. This video features artists from around the world dancing in a unique, fun, and engaging way. In this installation, Pig places the natural world with the artificial world of television, implying an interaction between the two. The video is not the only thing that adds movement. The plants move naturally, swaying in the breeze, showing their life. Additionally, each TV is positioned at unconventional angles, prompting viewers to adjust their bodies and heads to view the screens nimbly, encouraging them to focus on multiple monitors rather than just one. Peck carefully placed the TVs and plants to create a balanced composition where neither component dominates the other. The boundaries separating the natural and the artificial are weakened by this juxtaposition. There is a harmonious mix of sounds and colors. The vibrant green of the plants blends with the lively sounds from the monitors, resulting in a captivating visual experience as the screens change colors and intensities. Through this artwork, Peck effectively conveyed his belief in the harmonious relationship between technology and nature. He advocated for their peaceful coexistence seeing them not as opposites but as interconnected. Influenced by Zen Buddhism, Peck's ideas emphasize the connection of all things in the universe, including plants and televisions. He proposed a shift toward prioritizing art, culture, and knowledge over the depletion of natural resources, particularly fossil fuels, which are essential for creating objects like televisions for example. Peck criticized the lack of emphasis on spirituality and warned against the harmful consequences of the world's overdependence on fossil fuels. He wanted people to change that by encouraging attention to the natural and spiritual aspects of life. Peck supported a more balanced and sustainable approach to energy and life emphasizing the interconnectedness of spiritual and environmental well-being. So, yes, Nam Jun Pak used electronic devices in his art, but he also criticized the excessive use of fossil fuels. He recognized both the benefits and potential harms that come with technological advances. He was concerned, but at the same time intrigued by what the future will be like. This artwork showcases Peck's fascination with blending various forms of expression, particularly by exploring the intersection of media, technology, and nature. Peck's vision transcended the present. He recognized the evolving relationship between humans and technology. With this work, Peck encouraged a deeper reflection on humans' position within an environment that is constantly evolving. As he said, Skin has become inadequate in interfacing with reality. Technology has become the body's new membrane of existence, suggesting that technology now plays a vital role in our lives and understanding of the world. Peck's groundbreaking approach to blending art and technology established him as the founder of video art, profoundly influencing contemporary art. His innovative use of technology and exploration of the human technology relationship continue to inspire artists globally. The first person to bring television into the art gallery was Nam Jun Pik. The limitless creativity of humans is reflected in every stroke, pixel, and sound. Let's embrace this moment and those that will come without fear of trying new things every day. Nam Jun Peck's vision reminds us, the future is now.